Hello and welcome back to GBoss Gaming. Uh, today we are playing a game called Pine. Uh, I just played like the first two minutes of the game just to get the controls down and just to make sure this game would be reasonably appropriate to play on this channel. Uh, so, you know, I don't have much of an idea of, of what to expect here uh, and I think I might struggle a little bit to link it with the curriculum, but we'll give it a go. was given away free on the Epic Games Store about two weeks ago. Uh, and the Epic Games Store like to give away free games every week. The one this week, I don't even know what it is because I didn't get overly excited about it. And they haven't announced next week's game yet, but it's worth having a look. As it's where I get a lot of my games from to play. I feel like the sound, or the music at least, is going to be quite noisy again. I've been trying to play around with it and get it right, but this is what we get, so I'm sorry if you cannot hear me or the game is too loud or too quiet. Um, I do not have the editing software to do this post-mix, so I'm not playing the game again after I've already started it. Almost done with the preparations. Ilma and Aidwin asked for some more resources for the treehouse. I would ask your brother, but I can't find him anymore. Even more resources? Yes, yes. Not sure what exactly, but please go see them. Can do. I also don't know whether or not I should read the voices or if you are happy to do it yourself, because I might go through them too quickly. Otherwise, for you watching. Damn it, Jerry. So yeah, this might be a bit of a mixed bag of me reading or not reading. You, Remoru Eard, Temuri no Moib. Received an idea. All right. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you want to see me or hear me reading out the voices. Um, because you know I don't really know what to expect too much from your, your expectations of me on this channel. Um, I, obviously, I just don't want to sit here in silence. But you know, I don't want to sit here talking over the top of the game as well. So let me know in the comments what we'd rather. If you want to see me play more of this game or if you have other recommendations which I am seeing. I am seeing your Hollow Knight. I am seeing your Astronia. I am also seeing that I do not have those games in my library. So it's a work in progress getting some of the games that you're asking for. I also wasn't paying attention with what I was meant to do there. So that could be a bit of an issue. It's a big pine cone. Stiff rope and stuff cloth. Um goals. Get stuff, cloth, and stiff rope. 
crafting. There we go. I need more wood. I can do that. And I've got that. Alright, so how do I craft it? Nope. Oh, hold square to create. Yep. Cool, done that. I think I went on a bit of a detour. Unnecessarily, but oh well. Live and learn. Alright, let's progress the story a little bit. Nope, don't jump. Right, let's go find uh, El Brother, which is where I just came from. Oh. I love walking in errand simulators. Hello, brother. I see the resemblance. Nonyam, you. I find it difficult with when there's a lot of reading involved because I feel like well there's a T-pose because <laughs> I feel like I know I read at a reasonably quick speed and you know might not necessarily so you know if I'm reading that might make it easier for you to be able to follow on but then I don't want to hear the sound of my own voice too much so I'll see what I, I'll do what I can <laughs> While I'm doing this for you, we should quickly eat something before we go exploring. Grab some Megaram. Okay. Replenish your energy. Alright. Um, everything to do with energy. Eat food you find in the world. Holding F1. Collect and eat. Alright. Raho, knock mop in it on beach your maxim hanyatin. Alright, let's go see what we can find. We'll be back before Maria has even turned her ancient head. Last one there has to eat two bowls of Maria's stew. Oof. Um, excuse me, why do you get a head start? Especially since you know where we're going and I don't. That's a bit unfair. Alright, let's not worry about the stew then. Slingshot. Alright, you have both melee and a ranged weapon. Oh, so this must be a fighting game. Alright, swap between two using square. Right. Standard aim and shoot mechanism of the game. Yeah, all right, lad. Let's go explore this random cave. I'm liking this game so far. I like the little, uh, or the art style of the game. I think it's quite nifty. These little indie games are often, you know, really cool. Can't go that way. Let's 
especially with the mess that AAA has been recently. Hey, this looks like a real adventuring tool. Mate, it's a stick. Oh no, it is a sword. Right, fair enough. Try Shurbanya. some sword fighting. So we hit a few times to look powerful, alright. Hold it behind your head for a bit and then release. Yep, stand. Mechanism. And we could kick in between attacks. Alright. What are these slimy white creatures? What if we combine dashes with swings? Check this one out. Well done. I'm gonna cause a cave in. Help him. No. Nah. I better progress the story. Well done. I can see you lost your balance. Wooden door with a small note. Left, left, right. Alright, which of these are left and which of these are right? Missing something. Oh, I need to explore down here a bit further. That'll do it. Oh, left, left, right. Um, I need that one. Left, left, right. Oh, you mean. Oh, I see. You ended up in here. Yep, you're not wrong. That, that's what it says. I don't understand how you went through the rock, but we'll take it. It was pretty close. You know, I just ate food. Accidentally. So we'll be right. I appreciate. Oh no, he must have lit that torch. I was gonna say I appreciate it doesn't have like Skyrim syndrome, where it's like this cave's been abandoned for a thousand years, but all the torches are still lit. Some nice little rock paintings. Yao and you. I wonder what historical society this game is based on. Because they are speaking a language at some sorts. I wonder if it's a real language or... Just some gibberish. Probably. I think we should go to the ceremony too. Alright lad. You do the wrong thing then. I actually want to explore up here a little bit, so I'm going to be doing the wrong thing too. <coughs> After I break some crates. <coughs> Leaf dough. Interesting. Oh, I got some free food out of it, so that was worth a little adventure. Time to head back out, I guess, anyway. Go to the ceremony. Return to our tribe. I'm enjoying this game so far. 
nothing too crazy has happened, it's just the, the tutorial. But I like the art style. The combat's fairly straightforward and simplistic, which is nice. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, we're in trouble. How long were we in that cave for? Of course I was right. We told you this the whole time. Alright, to the ceremony we go. There's not a lot of uh, pathfinding in this game, so you have to try and figure it all out by yourself. That's not the way we came down, though. Oh well. This beard looks like an octopus. <laughs> Apparently no one likes the stew, so why are we all clapping? Oh, a dry stew. Yeah, I don't blame you. Ugh. Well, at least someone eats it. <laughs> oh, there's some birds. Gosh, they're chonk birds. <laughs> were falling over like dominoes, like they weren't held in the ground with tree roots. Hello. Do I get an animal pet? Slap the poor thing. I will attack you. <laughs> I love it. I no longer think this is based on the real tribe. The unstable cliffs. Yep, fair enough. Follow you. Alright, I don't really have much else of a choice, do I? <coughs> I like how his name had popped up before he actually introduced himself. An alpha fan. Okay. My wood's different for the bridge and some food. And I'll get you something for that blockade. Okay. You did, did you? Alright. Uh, we need rope and we need carrots. Not a currant, a carrot. Alright. Now, um, what's this? Fair enough. Uh, now, I should be able to craft 
some rope, shouldn't I? Yep. And now I just need to find more currents. There we go. Is it easy? Didn't have to go very far. It's not like this boat couldn't have done it himself. Oh well. An explosive keg. It's <laughs> not subtle. Hit it with some projectile. Blow it right up. Alright. Can do. Use a keg to enter the cavern. You can deploy certain items using L1. Okay. L1. Keg. Now we run. And just switch to slingshot. There we go. That wasn't a very exciting explosion, mate. I don't think I need to talk to him. No, don't jump. Enter. The triangle and square. Square? Triangle and X buttons on my controller are a little bit flipped than what I'm used to playing with games. That's why I keep jumping or something accidentally. I assume I just have an unlimited amount of rocks on my slingshot. <coughs> Alright. Hello. That must be the white slimy thing. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem friendly. You're not wrong there, Mahu. Yes, you will have to fight it. good at uh, combat based games, I'm much more of a strategy or puzzle gamer. But you know, we'll see what we can do. Ah, I know where I am. Share your story with Armin. I mean, I wouldn't really call it much of a story, but oh gosh. This town has been decimated. Um, um. Yeah, he saved your life. Don't you remember him pushing you out of the way? He pushed you away. Found him. Yeah. 
Why would they lie to you? Alright, well, let's just go back and continue looking for a dead lad. Sounds quite insensitive, actually. I guess that there needs to be some sort of plot for the game. There's a little fire off in the distance I can see. It's very foggy. You bet and chip no sunny, that bit of poor. Be how it's be hired to book the hobrene. Yeah, yeah, the etom hum. No how then turn no how the checks. Two campsites out there. Um, I guess that you know, that's where we're going to have to go and explore the outworlds, like our mom wanted us to. I guess that was the end of the little intro section of the tutorial. going on there on the on the uh, shadows all right well I might think that I'll leave uh, it here we've completed the intro section uh, if you liked the game uh, let me know in the comments and if you want to see me play this game a bit more uh, you know let me know so I know that you're interested in seeing me play it I'll probably play it off camera uh, if you aren't interested because I've enjoyed it so far but if you want to see me continue you know, it on camera do let me know uh, but yeah until next time thank you for watching and I'll see you then bye for now